Hey guys, JP here, and just a quick update. Now, I'm gonna boot up a Logic Pro track. This is on the 10 core M1 processor. I'm gonna boot up this one, which I've called Time to Fly. And this is a 10 track project, and each track is using Pigments. Pigments is by Artoria. These are all MIDI tracks, and they're all running Pigments. It's sitting here live at the moment, so it's running the right one there, Ring My Bell. That one is Repellent Chant, and that is that right one there, Repellent Chant. And they're all running fine, they're all here. You can hear them all live. So I've got this eight bar loop, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab every one of these and I'm actually just going to expand it and loop it so it's actually running to 16 bars. And we're just gonna do that, there we go. Uh, we've got the audio track there, which we're gonna arm. Now the project is actually under the lowest settings I can put it. So we're on the Scarlet 2i2 USB that's coming out of my speakers here. And we're on 32 samples. Automatic, recommended, I can put it on two, but I'm gonna put it on automatic to leave it there. And the smallest buffer size, and then these we're just leaving as they are. I'm gonna play this track. It's just a track that I created today. If you're into your 80s, you might like this track. Let's just see if it plays. Now, before we do that, let's bring up the performance meter. So the other thing as well is the audio track is there, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hit record. So it's gonna record the audio, but there's nothing actually coming in. It's just to actually make it do more processing. So we've got 10 versions of pigments, in the lowest setting possible, let's see what happens. So there was no crackling, there was no delay. You could see the other call there as it was recording. So we've got that recording in there now. It doesn't matter if there's a waveform there or not. But I just wanted to show you that. So we're roughly going around about 25%. So I'm just gonna times this. So we've got 20 of them. It's gonna sound even bigger because it's gonna be the same tracks, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna show you how that looks. Okay, so I've now copied each one, and I'm just going to show you as well, if I press A, there's two tracks here, which is the Steady Flow track that's got automation on it. I'm gonna turn it down on my speakers because it's gonna get pretty loud, but I just wanna show you what's going on with it, and if we can play 20 versions of pigments, let's see what happens. Remember, this is on the lowest setting at 32 samples. So I think that's handling that pretty well. All of these, as I say, are completely live. So you can play them straight away. I'm not hearing any crackling at all, which is really good. And again, we're on 32 samples. So I just wanted to show you that. It's running live right now. It's got the audio there. It's got a record track on Steady Flow and also Audio One. And yeah, it's running fine at around about 50% with 20 instances of pigments. I hope you found that useful, guys. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.